Prior to performing any service or repair on a diesel high pressure system, ensure personal protective equipment is worn, including glasses, gloves and non-slip footwear. Always depressurise the system using the manufacturer guidelines prior to commencing work. The correct operation of a diesel relies heavily on the lift pump and high pressure injection system. G'day, I'm Zach, welcome to Automate. Often called a transfer or supply pump, the lift pump transfers fuel from the tank to the fuel injection system. The three common types of lift pumps in use are the diaphragm, plunger and vane. The diaphragm lift pump can be mounted to the engine block or on the injection pump and houses inlet and outlet valves as well as a rocker arm connected to the diaphragm. A rotating eccentric causes the rocker arm to pivot and pull the diaphragm down. This compresses the return spring, creating a low pressure area in the diaphragm's pumping chamber. Fuel flows into the pumping chamber via the inlet check valve. As the cam or eccentric rotates further, the diaphragm is moved in the opposite direction, forcing the fuel through the outlet check valve. If the injector pump doesn't require additional fuel due to low engine speed, the pressure in the outlet rises and will equal the pumping chamber pressure. The cam will continue to rotate, but the rocker arm collapses and the diaphragm stops moving. As soon as the outlet pressure drops, indicating a need for fuel, the rocker arm locks and the diaphragm will move once again. To watch the full video or any of our automotive training modules, just visit our website to find out how you can become an Automate member today.